Then, of course, the big news of the day is courtesy of Nike regarding the Tom Sachs Nike Craft um, general purpose shoe that I've been eyeing up for a long time. I think I was one of the first people, I'm going to say, on the social media, on the internet or YouTube, who was very bullish and very kind of keen on these shoes. And I think I spoke about them being a really great kind of everyday wear a shoe that you could incorporate with different outfits, a shoe that was made for walking, a shoe that was made for working, a shoe that was made for just, you know, being a human being and, you know, kind of parading around the streets again in this post-pandemic world. But the only thing I'm a little bit disappointed in is that we still haven't got any information as to when, if ever, the rubberized toe Mars Yards that were basically being debuted and wear tested for a while with the kind of reinforced toe and the um, metal eyelets and maybe the reinforced upper when they're ever going to come out. We have no idea if they're going to come out. But regardless, Nike have updated us on one Nike Craft Tom Sachs shoe, which I'm really, really excited about. So it says as follows, this is Nike Craft announces an extraordinary shoe for extraordinary people. It says as follows, if the Mars Yard and Nike Tom Sachs introduction to the Nike Craft concept was designed for space going scientists, it's kin, the Nike Craft general purpose shoe GPS finds its footing in the everyday. Both, of course, build on the base idea, the sneakers, a daily tool, and has created with the same unwavering attention to detail. I like that it's called general purpose shoe, aka GPS meaning that it is actually meant for walking, getting around your city and actually being a human form of GPS. So that's pretty cool. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. The quote is as follows. I got involved with Nike in the beginning because we wanted to make a sculpture that everyone could wear. It's a tool for everyday life. It's democratic. I like the idea behind that. The GPS shape is distinct. Thanks to a slightly perky um, upturned toe, uh, but not too distinct. It's built with a three-piece molded cup sole, signature donning straps, and microfiber collar, and ultra breathable knit packs a value punch. It took a decade to make a shoe this simple. As simple as can be, no simpler. Nike Craft shuns innovation for its own sake, but embraces it as a necess as a, as embraces it as a necessity. Can you imagine the amount of back and forth they must have had with Tom in terms of just not just regurgitating the same shoe again in terms of that rubberized one that I want, or in terms of just maybe getting loud and designing something crazy? The fact that he'd go and want to design something that's basically for the most part, you know, cream and, you know, white looking with some white blue bits and hits and whatnot concerning what's out there in the market. This must have been something that he had to fight for major, I'd imagine, or maybe not, who knows. Um, the GPS engineering and materials are also chosen to provide comfort support and high degree of tactile sensation in a well-placed product. Consideration for the durability in or utility and style is shown in the upper material, open enough to be breathable, tight enough to ward off any few raindrops the quality of the donning straps and again of the three piece molded cup sole it says it took me years to best advantage the superpowers of scale and deliver value while still reflecting on the standards of the studio a great collaboration great collaboration sorry is something that no partner could do without the other the nike craft has always been a 50 50 collaboration says tom Sachs. the gps reminds us of the beauty of comes and creating connection with the things one wants staying it tear it and repair it the gps is a tool to be best is the, to be the best you um they have an understanding understated sorry quality they're meant to do all things that you tell them to do and tell your story like the other great perennials of the sneaker world the nike craft gps will render the multiple color schemes the launch version the studio feature okay so is it? there's gonna be different colorways okay so let's read that again like the other great perennials of the sneaker world, the Nike Car GPS will render in multiple color schemes. The launch version, the studio, features a gum rubberized midsole, muted with white upper and a blue donning stripe. It's the new uniform colorway of the Tom Sachs studio team, and it could be your uniform too. It comes in women's sizes, 5 to 4 and 14 and a half, and men's sizes, 3 and a half to 14. Um, and 14, 15, where GPS will be available on June 10th and it retails for $110, which is pretty sick. For a limited edition shoe to retail for, retail for that much money is really good. Um, it's pretty cheap considering how other expensive other limited edition shoes go for, but that most of might explain because of the materials they've been using and how kind of, you know, conscious they are of making it look a certain way. Why can't I see the pictures? I don't know. It's being dumb. Let's scroll down. Oh. 
is it is it freeze now? Is it freeze? Have you freezed? I guess it's freeze now. But yeah, overall, I'm really happy to see them. I can't wait to get a pair myself. Um, this is something that I've been looking forward to checking out and wearing for a very, very, very long time. Um, it's good to finally have the date there set in terms of when we're going to be able to actually wear them and actually get them in hand ourselves. So that's really cool to see. I'm not going to lie. Um, oh, can we just not see? Oh, I have to download the images. Okay, I don't want to download the images, but let's just scan them. Let's see if we can just scan through these ones here down below. Yeah, these look these look bloody cool in it. Oh no, let's go back here again. Um, as you can see clearly, the ones that the ones that are worn look far better than the ones that are brand new. In my opinion, anyway, they look far better. What do you think? I think definitely the worn one looks far better. Um, so I can't wait to get them worn and actually get some life into them and actually get stomping around the streets in them. Um, what do I think about the outside? The redesigned durable uh, waffle outside is decorated with an embossed Nike Craft logo in a US pattern. Um, the shoe is lightning hold foam tongue package with a high sealed edge. This finish with a Nike Craft of a label it's a language not so Nike craft support of all the activities and the value of allowing your wear to tell their own story and of course the box as well with the shoe itself on there it looks pretty hard I'm not going to lie I'm not going to lie um, and I can't wait for them to drop actually one of the shoes that I've been waiting to kind of pick up for a while so hopefully June 10th comes around and I'll get lucky on a sneakers app and I'm able to cop them but I should be okay to cop because I do remember when I said what I said about the shoe the general consensus online um, was that people didn't like them they hated them oh it's not great it's not the Mars Yard 2 which is obviously a classic and that's reselling for flipping five thousand dollars until this day even though I wear mine to the gym hilarious but still I was a big fan of the shoe from the day it dropped um, and no one else was so you would assume that now that it's got a release date that it should be okay for people to cop right I don't think so I think more likely than not because of all these pictures that we've seen of them there's that viral clip going around of Tom Sachs walking down the street really weird um, <laughs> he's kind of stomping you know what I mean really aggressively um, walking wherever he's going and someone recorded him wearing a pair so clearly um, the hype is brewing with these um, and I think over time people are going to like them more especially once people start changing their laces and you know doing all that stuff that people like to do in terms of making them look their own and there's some more pictures here courtesy of over under um, a guy called Verdi got his pair early and what we can see here looking at the top down of the shoe is that for the most part it's pretty thin in terms of padding on the inside they've got some um, you know padding here towards the heel um, there's obviously the straps here on the heel and the toes one well, or to kind of get the shoe in and then we've also got this funny shape thing here on the front of the on the toe box which looks pretty cool you don't necessarily see it from the side profile but it's very very cool I think that was all that what was that that rip stop sort of material thing they kept mentioning in the article right what was it um, I think that might be what they're talking about here blah, 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 building the base sneaker daily um, with a three piece cup midsole cup uh, signature donning straps and microfiber collar and ultra breathable knit um, yeah so that might be it I'm not too sure but some material that they were talking about I think that might be what is featured here at the top of it but I do like that different shape it's sort of like a what do you call it like a P design shape towards the front of the toe box which kind of allows your front toe to kind of be uh, free here I wonder if this is an ergonomic thing because it kind of it's you know that that extra bit kind of goes over your little toes and then here your kind of big toes kind of left to kind of dangle out there in the front or maybe that's just a design language thing i'm not really too sure um and then there's another one another yeah, and then oh but the concerning piece is this courtesy of an instagram user called papa smurf 34 who got a pair early it looks like of the uh general purpose shoe right as you can see them fairly brand new and they look pretty decent in hand not going to lie but then after a few wears they've already got a split on the side of the shoe now is this because this person has tied them really tightly or because they didn't relace them or is it because this person who clearly you know might be on the bigger side if you look at their hand and whatnot and the fact that their their wrist is exploding out of their flipping um or the rolex is making their wrist explode Maybe it's because of the weight thing or maybe it's because of the big foot, big fat foot thing, which I have. I have a really wide foot. 
um, some will say fat, but I'll say wide. It's not fat, it's definitely wide, right? And my main issue is that usually when it comes to narrow shoes, I can't wear a lot of narrow shoes because the length usually fits, but then sometimes the width isn't great. But then if I size up in terms of length, it then doesn't fit in terms of length, and then it doesn't fit also to the width because it's just too big. So it kind of hampers me in terms of wearing some slimmer design shoes, like, you know, cool Astro Turfs that, you know, a Jason Deal would like or whatever it may be. But this is very concerning that, you know, the people that have got their early um, their early seeded pairs are already having issues with the splits here on the side. Um, this is not something, obviously, you want to see going on. But maybe this is, might be just one of the early samples that might have an issue of them going forward. But I do like the fact that they already look marked up. Maybe he hasn't worn them that often already. But they do kind of crease up and mark up very easily. So there isn't, similar to the Mars Yards that basically were attracting dirt on the midsole and didn't really give you a chance to wear them brand new and have them dead stock. I like that these have the similar sort of effect. But if this is happening only after a couple of wears, this is very, very concerning already for people that have a pair very very concerning i would say but you know maybe this is just a a little minor bump in the road going forward but yeah i'm really eager to drop to have them in hand when they do drop again you know whether or not i'll be successful in terms of getting a pair for myself it remains to be seen but you know there might be a possibility that i might end up looking like the great man himself here oh I have to, okay can't you just like view the picture in terms of having to do that Okay, you have to do it. Okay, but anyway, this Tom Sachs obviously wearing a pair there in his signature outfit. And then you got this great advertising as well that they featured as well that I thought was really well really, really well done. Um it says here uh boring. And I think they said the inspiration came from an old VW um uh advert for the Beetle back in the day. I'm pretty sure it's a beat or something else. And I think they labeled it a lemon and then kind of you know spoke about it in the same way. But this is for the general purpose shoe. It says as follows: uh, boring. Um, your sneakers shouldn't be the most exciting thing about you. I definitely agree about that. Or you shouldn't have your personality completely molded around the sneakers you wear. Sorry, they're tools, and what matters about you about your tours is that they work that they do their job so that you can do yours you put them on forget about them you focus on getting a little bit faster get a little bit sharper and find the signal in the noise it took us 10 years to make a sneaker this simple as simple as that can be and no simpler do more sneaker and own less sneaker and show up and prove it and whole life be you sneaker it's not what you do it's how you do it the nike craft general purpose 109 available 10th of uh, February sorry 10th of June nikecraft.com so hopefully they have some really cool activations around it too that was one of the rings that was really sick about the Mars Yard activation that is amazing um, things concerning working now and designing and waking up and walking around and all this sort of activity based stuff that was really cool hopefully they have something similar regarding this general purpose shoe maybe something more tied into the actual motive around the shoe maybe something to do with you know walking a certain amount of steps every day or whatever it may be i think that's going to be really cool going forward so yeah i can't wait for these to drop i'm really excited for them to drop when they eventually do really really am excited